Hey guys, how you doing? This is Fall with Liberty Graphic Designs, and today we're gonna an unbox a 3D printer and Ender 3 Creality Ender 3 3D printer. I ordered this baby about a month ago. It takes forever to get here. Comes all the way from the great land of China. So let's unbox this and let's. I'm gonna see if I can build it today. So let's unbox it. And as you saw in the last video, I want to start making leather patches. So, something like this, you know, different shapes, circles, whatever, you know, and slop them on hats, like so. So, that's where this baby comes in. Now, if you're asking yourself if I know how to run one of these, and no, I don't know how to run a 3D printer, but we're going to learn. Well, we're gonna learn together, right? So let's let's open this baby. Let's see what's inside. Little sample of a uh, filament. I'm gonna bring you closer, okay? Yay! Instructions, more filament and nozzles, and a little cord. No idea what that is. This is all new to me, guys. I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there are like, what are you doing with that if you don't know what, it, what you're doing? I didn't know anything about screen printing either. So this is how I started. Here's a base. Oh God, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people watching that know their way about 3D printers and stuff and they're gonna be like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. You know what? You're definitely right. Oh, look at that, power cord. Okay, so there's a base. More foam, the power supply, and I I keep what you know I've been watching videos and a lot of people is like oh you know brand new power supply this is 24 volts and I'm like oh I don't know what that means there's a control panel little itty bitty stuff compared to the stuff that we use. That's the control panel. Stepper motor. Another stepper motor. Uh, motor. This is the whole assembly. I have no idea where it goes. I'm pretty sure the instructions are going to tell me where it goes. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be the handle for the filament, which I don't see that. What's this? Oh yeah, it comes with the other. Never mind. And I believe that's it. Oh no, there's another one right here. Whatever this is. guys again I don't know anything about this don't be mad looks like it's empty now all of you guys that do screen uh, not screen printing that do 3d printing please don't <laughs> please don't get mad at me I really don't know what I'm doing so let's start the build let's read the instructions because Sooner or later, I'm going to have to come back and look at the instructions. This is actually pretty cool. Hide it upside down. This is, it's really cool. I mean, it's like instructions for dummies. 
If you can't put this together with this type of instructions, you need to go back to kindergarten. Watch me put my foot in my mouth for saying that. Then I'm gonna, not going to be able to put it, <laughs> put it together. <laughs> I'm going to be putting my foot in my mouth. Oh, this is going to be fun. I want to see what this is. Oh, okay. That's cool. You know, I used to think it was like a piece of metal. It's not. It looks like uh, some sort of compo composite. Almost like fiber. Like fiberglass. Pretty sure a lot of people are probably getting mad right now. But you know what? I don't care because this is mine. So I sold the bake machine yesterday and I still gotta clean this because it's still, you know, still a mess. So I still have to clean it. That's why what I'm gonna do today, I have to embroider some shirts and I gotta do some uh, screen printing. So as soon as I do that, um, I'll probably come back and mess with this because uh, this looks like it's going to take me a couple of hours to put it together. But it seems, it seems very straightforward. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a headache. Yeah, it's, I mean it's like, like I said, I mean the instructions, it looks like um, instructions for dummies. And I'm a dummy, so so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do some work. I have to go do some work, so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put this together. Don't go anywhere. It's not like you can, right? Watch this while I'm gone. Okay, so. Here we are. I guess we can work on putting this this thing together. I actually moved some stuff around. Clean this side a little better. So now let's work on this. So normally I won't read this. Normally I would just start grabbing stuff and start putting it together, but since this is something completely new to me, I'm going to read the instructions. They label everything for you. Look at that. Oh, this is not label. But that's a belt. But this is cool. Look, they label everything for you. Perfect for people like me. Nice. I know there's a lot of you that this is probably what you do for a living. You're probably over there laughing at me. Go ahead, life. Laugh all you want. I don't care. Yeah, that's a little use me. Fine needle, can't even see it. Now you can see it. Well, you can see the floating thing, but it's, trust me, it's floating on a needle. <laughs> That's funny. I bet there's somebody over there giving it the actual name. That's not a needle, you moron. You know what would have been helpful if instead of me just trying to put it together using this right here, if I would have sat down in front of my computer and watched one of these videos on how to put it together. But no, 
I didn't watch no videos. I'm just gonna try to put it together to the best of my knowledge, which is very little. Okay, so that's gotta be important. side Should I put this together like, you know, trying to play it like I know what I'm doing? Or should I just put it together like I don't know what I'm doing? So I'm just going to put it together like I don't know what I'm doing because if I do it, like if I know what I'm doing, it's going to be obvious. They're going to be like, oh, that dude doesn't even know what he's doing. See what I mean? It's gonna be obvious that I don't know what I'm doing. And if you happen to hear that sound, that hazing sound right now, that's my AC, just kicked in. There you go. Step one, complete. Step two, power supply and this play so I'm not an expert of this but I can tell you this don't have to go in there right now because it just doesn't see that's me trying to make it make make believe I know what I'm doing so power supply this right here Okay, so if you're just turning in, if you just happen to like walk in right now, I'm Juan, I'm a screen printer. Yes, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing right now. All I know is this is going to be a 3D printer when I'm done with it. So if you're just turning in right now and you happen to think, this guy sucks, you're right. One thing I can tell you though. Don't over tighten these screws. You strip them. Step two, complete. <laughs> That's just so dumb. Complete. <laughs> okay, so next step is the belt. Okay, so the belt is in place and it's working. 
So now, let's put this together. So that's it. So I saw in some videos that this little coupler right here, it wasn't good. See, look, that's a, uh, that's it's in there. It's not coming off. So I did see on some videos that they were they were claiming that that was coming off fairly easy. Um, either they probably already fixed that little coupler, and and it's I mean it's probably improved. But look, it's not coming off, and I'm, I mean, I'm pulling so hard that it's just sliding out of, off, off my finger. So I guess step number twelve is to plug in all this little connectors right here. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Here's the moment of truth. Ha ha, it came on. Okay, so again guys, I don't know anything about this right here. If you guys know, if any of you uh, that are watching this video, obviously there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video. So if any of you um, that are watching, saw me do something wrong, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments below and Because I want to learn I want to I want to learn how to do this so Again, uh, I'm gonna have to do some reading. I'm gonna have to go online and and um, uh, Try to figure this thing out so I can start printing some stuff There you have it that was the unboxing and the putting together this uh, 3d printer so we can start making patches leather patches I'm not printing the patches I'm cutting the patches out of leather I'm just gonna print a like for example a, um, a stamp so I can stamp this with the with the logo and then you know put it on the hat either there or there so you get the point that's why I got this baby so now I have to learn how to use it. Does that make sense? They send you some filament. This is just regular PLA. And then I just bought this little piece. This is um, ABS. And I also got a full roll. So I'm going to go get the full roll and I'm going to mess with it for a little bit. It's already like 11 p.m. today is Friday what is it the 5th yeah Friday the 5th October the 5th 2018 and there you have it so there you go guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a little thumbs up make sure you subscribe and ding the little bell that way you know when I have low new videos let me move this over so you can yeah so again guys this is our newest addition to Liberty Graphic Designs. And it's, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Ding the little bell so you get notified when I upload, upload new videos. It's always a pleasure, guys. Peace out. Catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye now. God bless.